This is the second tutorial in creating a digital collage. Um, this tutorial you're going to need to use Photopea. You can find it by going to Google, clicking on Photopea. Then you go to Open from My Computer and you find the images that you have saved. So they're the ones that you found on the internet. They're the ones that you saved. Um, they're the ones that photographs that you took from following my last tutorial. And in here, you're going to open up the pictures that you're going to collage together. So I'm going to use uh, maybe this picture this time of this man. Then on top of the man, you're going to click on open and place. Open and place, not file open, open and place. And you're going to open all the images. I'm going to go into that folder of the photographs that I took. All the images that you're going to layer on. So I'm going to use that picture of the book. Um, I'm going to use, let's see, um, that, 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 and then you click on open, wait a few minutes for it to load. Okay, there are two things that you need to learn about this tutorial if you're going to get it right. The first thing is, if you want to edit one of these images, you have to have it selected in this layers panel. If you don't select it in the layers panel, you can't edit it. The second thing is you are going to use the eraser tool to um, rip parts of the image as if you're ripping pages in a book to make your digital collage. So we're going to click on the eraser tool. We're going to go up to the eraser tool properties up here. And we're going to choose number 76. 76, if I make it a little bit bigger, looks like um like a rip like a rip technique when you use it on an image okay i'm going to bring into my foreground the picture of that man just to bring him up a bit um, i'm going to click on that layer of that black and white image use my pointer tool to just to move that out the way a little bit i've now got um that picture of that man and i'm moving that that um picture about there i'm going to make that bit bigger because i quite like those diagonal black stripes and I'm going to use that in my design. I'm now going to click back on my eraser tool and I'm going to delete. Oh, when you click on your images to erase parts of it, it will ask you to rasterize it first. You'll need to do that for all your images. So I'm now going to just delete parts of this image using my eraser tool. I'm going to do it quite broad sweeps because I want it to look like I have ripped pages from a book okay right I'm going to leave it there I'm going to now put the background above so my picture of that man above and I'm going to delete some parts of this image okay so that it's laid on top of that other one now I'm going to speed this up a bit but I want you to be paying close attention to what's going down on here I am clicking on the layer that I want to edit I'm then going over to here and I am choosing the eraser tool and I'm going up here to the pointer tool to move parts of that image about to create my collage. Okay. Okay, at this point, I'm going to put a background on it by using the rectangle tool, dragging that on. I could, ooh, I could use a white background or as it's just defaulted, I could choose a really bright background color um, for it to really ping out on because there's a couple of like um, monochrome colors there with that black and white um, image. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay. I think I'm almost done. You can overdo it, so don't overdo it. Oh, I'm going to overdo it a bit more. Give me a minute. Right, now I think I'm done. Oh, or am I? I could go over I could go too far, but I think I'll just leave it there. Once you're happy with it, you go to File, Export as a JPEG if you're happy and you're finished, or go to File, Save as PSD so that you can open it again another time. But there you have it. 
a digital collage. Have fun!